done with this trip. You know what? Um, let me. Oh, I don't have a bow. That's right. Vampiric frost cloud on the other hand. No. Shit, he's gonna kill me. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. I forgot I can jump. Where is my mana? My man is not coming back and my stamina is slowly going away too. You fuck off other we dead. I didn't mean it. Uh, you're cool, bro. Shit. Yeah, I saw that second swing. Need to kill the big guy. He He's doing way too much damage. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, good. All right, got the big guy. One of four down before the final boss. Uh, not really the final boss, but the boss. The actual final boss of this mod sucks. Like, that. I may. I may uh, sing this mod's praises to fucking hell and back, but the final boss, as is, is garbage. Like, it's so anticlimactic. Like, you, you ex. Okay, no more redeads at least. You expect so much from what the mod is, and then it just gives you a generic ass enemy that's like significantly stronger than all the other ones. Hailstone. Okay. Alright, next boss. We got. Goma. Fun fact about Goma, it's poison is bullshit, and when you kill it, there's a chance it will clip out of bounds. Because of how massive it is. Oh shit. Oh that's right, it's poison, uh, just... I'm immune to poison. Come get some, you spider bitch. Okay. Maybe, maybe come get some a little... Oh dear. Come on. dead and Goma did not clip out of bounds. Yeah, you get five. You get five gold sculpture tokens for killing Goma. There it is. Okay, yeah. I was, I was wondering why I couldn't see the uh, spell tome. It was, it was over in the other corner. Pretty sure this one is a Stalfos with the skull hammer. God damn it, another redead. Oh dear, what is that hammer? I broke my fucking knees. 
What did that do? Why did that hurt so bad? Back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's see what that fucking hammer was. Uh, just normal shock damage, I guess. Alright, let's look at these halfway chests. Wait, I don't think I have destruction enchantment. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Hello. Yeah, that hammer is scary. It can knock me down. He does not appear to have much HP though. Oh dear. Not matter. All right, Stalfo's knight has the skull hammer. Look at that, and his spells are on him for some reason. I don't know why. Skull hammer is the one from uh, Wind Waker. Well, obviously it's the one. You can also find the Megaton hammer, which it does the exact same thing as the skull hammer. It does a uh, knockback on hit. I think on power hit. Here's the last one. Another Dark Knot, but it's a greater Dark Knot and it has that badass looking sword. I'm taking that sword. That sword is one of my favorite designs of the mod. Sword, dark knight key, still lesser, another knight's crest, and a piece of heart. So I think that's three pieces of heart now. Summon Wolfos. <sighs> okay, here we go. pathway leading up to the boss so that um, I think it's uh, if the final boss of the area accidentally aggro's on you he can't um, he can't actually kill you I also think it may be because um, the arena is quite big so it may also just be because uh, he needed more space for it Ooh, two island goes Don't fall down there. Healing, 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 healing. Okay, uh, let's see what one-handed can do. How did I never level that up? Holy crap, I'm doing so much more damage now. I just didn't have that. I gotta jump down here to see what you had. You had nothing good. Where did my wolfos go? Oh, you're still fucking that guy up. Good job. I land Uka armor. So it is better. I just don't want it since it's heavy armor because there is different versions of the tunics another Hylian Uka armor like there's uh, the Hylian armor that are like heavy tunics and then there's Hylian uh, glass armor which are the upgraded versions of the light tunics god damn what did that do stamina and magicka are just ceasing to exist that's what it did still happening wow that effect lasts a long time and my wolfos died 
Okay, yeah. No more enemies. No more distractions. Just boss. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get him. Come on, Wolfos. Taking damage over time here. Somehow. It's ice damage though, so <laughs> that's not that great. Are you seriously just hang on? There. Come on, come on. Let's get him. Fuck him up, Wolfos. Yes, alright. Okay. That guy is a bastard. Gives you a lot of Grand Soul Gems, though. And he gives you these Thrall spells. If you don't, if you've never seen a thrall spell in Skyrim, which I hadn't until playing this mod, it just gives you a. It's basically just a summon that never goes away until it dies. <sighs> All right, we did it. Cleared the dungeon and our reward. Hello, Wolfos. Push me out of the way. Ruin the moment. So you know, Red Ring songbook, Ocarina's Respite. That's another songbook. All right, let's read this. Arcan Horizon, the first sunrise on a pristine Gaia. Gaia Opus Perfectum. Oh, no. Somewhere there, us sleeping. You have the world. It's all for you. I wish you'd find the lost in you. Grateful for the pain, it proves we're alive. Can you feel it? Fear is a choice you embrace. The music of this awe, deep silence between the notes, deafens me with endless love. The very core of life, the soaring high of truth and light, Tales from the seas, cathedral of green, the meadows of heaven await harvest. Come, taste the wine, race the blind. They will guide you from the light riding knots till the end of time. Come surf the clouds, race the dark, it feeds from the run runs undone. Meet me where the cliff greets the sea, deep into the past, follow the aeon path. We were here, where we have lived since the world began, since time itself gave us land. We were here, roaming the endless prairie, writing an endless story. We were here, grieving the saddened faces, conquering the darkest places. Time to rest now and to finish the show and become the music, one with ape and glow. Alp and glow, my bad. You are my path, my home, my star, a beautiful tale within the tale. And when the dust needs to move on, I will tuck us in on a bed of snow. Painting white, silence the valley we built. Together we'll sleep devour, devoured by life. Man, he took his time in the sun. He had a dream to understand a single grain of sand. He gave birth to poetry, but one day will cease to be. Greet the last thought of our library. We were here, we were here, we were here, we were here. And there it is, the Ocarina of Time. Now let's... First, all these songbooks. Zelda's Lullaby. There was one more book I got, right? Ah, yes, a note. Far to the southeast, among the Aspens, to refractory... To the refractory of the rune on a peak within the Elpen Glow, the gate will open with a key crafted from the notes of time itself. I have no idea what that means. That's all of it, right? Okay, now what you do with the Ocarina, it's in your inventory here. Click on it, and it says you cannot equip, but it what that does is actually equip it. And now, Song of Time, I can play it, and it opens the gate. And there's always shit hidden behind the door. In this case, a fairy. I think my wolf host just died.
But this... This is where it gets sad. So, maybe... Grab some tissues. In addition to being sad, it's also... I did not mean to do that one again. I meant to turn off night vision since it's not really necessary when um, all this shit is super bright. Yeah, but this is where it gets sad. So, in order to open that door, you need to clear all three dungeons in order. You go Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, um... Whatever the one in Sol... Um, Solstein is supposed to be. Right, and this this book was added here just so it's easier to get back from grabbing this item, this insanely good item. Zelda's bow, a bow with 31 base damage, and I'm pretty sure it comes with an enchantment. En enchantment. Enchantment. Yeah. Magicka for 30 seconds deals lingering sun damage with a chance to explode upon death. This thing is nuts. Yeah, like, they added that book there just so it's easier to get back up, but before you would just have to climb on that pole, then climb up this one and jump back. Which, I mean, it makes it easier. So, I can't complain. But we're not done here yet. There's this little area hidden back here. The freezing caves. There's a lot here. Um, there is... There is quite a bit here. This is the sad part. So, first things first, let us head down into the well, because this is where the Mask of Truth is. And let's activate night vision again. I'm gonna save, just be careful. Even though I saved when I got in there. Yeah, you don't know what's in these places. This is where shit, shit really gets intense once you uh, beat all three overworld dungeons. Like, the difficulty ramps severely high. Not to mention you have to start farting uh, dragons. Ooh, cold dust. What was that? I really want to level my destruction magic, that's why I'm pretty much only using that right now. Oh, here is a gossip stone. Is there a chest over here? I thought I saw a chest. I missed something. Yeah, okay, this is what I missed. Is that rainbow chew jelly? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Gonna wanna grab that rainbow shit first. Oh, I didn't even... Yeah, this is just the Ashland version of uh, the hero's gear. You gonna come out to play? Guess not. There's usually a mini boss that's inside that uh, coffin, and you could very clearly hear him. Here it is. The ma oh, I think oh, the Mask of Truth. They severely updated this thing's model. It never looked this sick before. Quite frankly, this thing used to look like crap, but now it just looks great. And can I wear circlets with my hat? I can, and with my mask. Okay, I think the coffin just opened. Yeah, there he is. Paru Tamu. Sounds like something I should recognize, but I don't. 
All right, now I have the Mask of Truth, which this lets me talk to the Gossip Stones like it does in the other games. And now they'll actually give me hints. Hylian Shields can be corrupted with Black Soul Gems or enhanced with Grand Soul Gems. All right. I did not know that. Now I do. So, let's continue on. Oh, by the way, this freezing cave is fucking massive. I'm not going to be able to clear out the entire thing in one visit. Right, the smithy. The fighter shield. I've always liked the design of that thing. I think that's all that's in here. There's a bed that I can't sleep in. Highland Soldier's Gauntlets, an anvil. Journal, here we go. I remember when the royal architects came to build a shrine in that grotto to the north. They wanted to hide something there. I asked one of them what they wanted to hide, and he just looked at me, his eyes solemn, full of despair. He opened his mouth, about to tell a lie or something vague, but stopped and looked away. A while later, I was tending to the crops, and he came back. They're in the grotto now. I wanted to show you something. He reached into his bag and took out an old cloth. He came close to me, turned his back to the village, and pulled back a corner of it. Very quickly then, covered the thing back up. All I saw was blue crystal and the Triforce. He left and never explained what it was. Every so often I thought about what they were hiding. When the Dark Army came, they asked if we were hiding anything. We all said we weren't. I was not lying, and they would have known. They took the mask of, they had the mask of truth. I guess if they could read minds with all, with that thing, all they would have seen was the Triforce. They left, but not without destroying a house in anger. Why didn't they look in the grotto? Did they? How did the architects hide the thing so well that the army that killed our kingdom never found it? Maybe that thing was so powerful it could do worse than kill us. I still think about that thing in the grotto, and I think I would... I know what it was. We've all heard stories about the hero, how he traveled through time to save us. He couldn't just do that, though. He had an ocarina. The ocarina was an heirloom of the royal family, and they couldn't very well hide it in the castle. Not with the dark army taking over. Where better to hide it than in a forgotten village under a volcano? And I think they must have been desperate too, because what I've, because I've heard rumors of what they were doing to prepare for the hero's inevitable return. The armor, the swords from Terminia, the ocarina must have been turned into a tool of war. Alright, so what I got from that is the soldiers from Hyrule Castle came here to hide the ocarina of time. Which raises questions considering it was intentionally placed at the end of that dungeon in Skyrim and I am not in Skyrim right now. I am in Hyrule. Which is awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I am in Hyrule. Not Skyrim right now. So, how did they get the Skyrim? House of the Dead. Okay, there's an alchemy table. Uh, Armos dagger. Burial masks. Basic stuff, a bunch of tombstones. What's this say? Text is too faded to read. Faded. 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 Bunch of ruined books. Empty bookshelf books. A bed. Oh, here we go. Hylian wood pull armor. I don't need that. I don't know why I took that mask. Yeah, but this is just, um, that's just the heavy armor set for, um, the Woodfall. And the appearances do change. Like, the, um, the appearances, like, their colors and shit, they do change to match what, uh, kind of tunic they're supposed to be. Here we go. Yeti glass armor. This is the upgrade of the light stuff. So I finally found the Yeti stuff. Kind of. Yeah, so immune to frost, but weak to fire. Yeah, alright. Way better than the base tunics. Like, defensively. And they look cool. Because, like, the glass on the glass ones, 
is color coded, and the undercoat of the heavy armor is color coded. Let's look at the bedrolls. You know what, let's check this place. What is this? The general store. This should at the very least have some money I can steal, and yep, there it is. We got an ah, Hylian shield, da da da, that's back to the caves. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait. Uh, forgotten Battle Axe plus two. That's pretty good if I was using two handed weapons. But I'm not. House. Shit. Now, I'm not sure if the creator of this mod synced up with the creator of the Zelda music mod, since they're separate mods. But when I get to the sad part, the music kicks in. In a very fitting way, and it makes me think they did sync it up. Or it just has its own music and it overrides all background music. Alright, so... Nothing in here since I don't use heavy armor. See about over here. Oh, hang on. Goron glass armor. So that's two of the tunics I didn't have that now I have the upgraded versions. That's good. What's over here? Nothing? Nothing. House. Another house. In case you haven't noticed the pattern yet, these places are decimated by snow and ice. Alright. Mama said we can't go to the castle. Nobody goes to the castle, she said. A man came to this house today. Now he lives with us. He said he used to live in the castle town, but when the bad man came, he and his family left. He said they lived in Lon Lon Ranch with the nice lady there, but the bad man came looking for horses, and so he and the lady escaped. He doesn't know where the lady went. I hope she's okay. Alright, so Talon and Malin escaped Ganon, but Malin got lost along the way. Also, if you couldn't tell by the bad handwriting and improper grammar, that was... I, I think the intent for that was that was written by a child. Which makes it even more sad, based on the outcome. Ooh, hello. Monterey Rug glass armor. That's nice. That's nice. Alright. Deeper into the cave. What's my carry weight looking like? Ooh, I'm getting close to max. Okay. I don't want to go up there yet because I know that's how I exit the cave. And I don't want to exit the cave yet. Mayor's house. Here we go. Fifteen torches that I do not need because I am a vampire. I, I'm I am bummed because I know I know the story I know what happens here and I'm just sad. It makes me sad. It's so it's so depressing. The dude did such a good job of writing a depressing story. Torn note, my love. I fear that our time together is coming to an end. The village has a handful of inhabitants, and the caverns are filled with the dead and dying from all over the kingdom. We have had to burn furniture just to keep warm. I have put what little we have in this box for you to have. And the box is empty. And the blade of Kakariko is stabbed into the bed, and there is blood everywhere, implying that the wife... Oh, wait, no, 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 hang on. Oh, no, the dude just died in his sleep because that fucking thing is horrible. Container of Fate. Oh, I thought it was just going to give it to me. That would have been hilarious. Pretty sure this is where the key to open the wardrobe is. Oh, come on. It was never called the Container of Fate before. It was just called, like, Safe. Let's see what's in here. Dragon of Fate. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't part of Zelda mod, that was me getting uh, 15,000 gold. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, wait, no, 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 the key is like under the bed or something, right? Yeah, there it is. This is where the Hylian Icona armor is, but since I don't use heavy armor, that's worthless. Yeah, but if you couldn't tell by the name from that sword, we are in Kakariko. This is Kakariko. This is what happened. And now for the last area. Except it's not. I should... You know what? I'm gonna save. And check the map to see if I missed anywhere else. Uh, doesn't look like it. No, wait, no, I, I know, I know there's like a set of glass armor underneath a slope staircase made of ice somewhere, and I want to grab that before going into the main area. It's like in a little hallway. Where is it? Yeah, I can put away my weapon, there's no, there's no more enemies in here. I can, the only enemies in this area are down in the well. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait, no, that's heavy armor. My bad. But still, another area before uh, getting to the actual shit. The shit that makes me want to cry. Blacksmith. I'm pretty sure the oh deserted in my bed. After I search this house, I'm gonna end the episode. Yeah, look at this rupor. You get a hundred rupees. I mean, it makes a different sound, so that's awesome. But you get a hundred rupees for selling that thing. Oh, here's another journal. I'll check the chest first. Faulty dagger. I did not mean to take that shield. Oh wait, the fire shield is light? 38... 35, okay, yeah, fire shield is definitely better, and I like the design more, so that's cool. Here we go. The snow is getting colder, and the firewood is running out. We cut down all the trees. We had to. Nothing grows here anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Nobody visits the inn anymore, so all we do now is sit in the cellar trying to keep warm. We left the door unlocked, so if anyone wants to come in, they can. We only let people in the cellar if they ask. The graveyard is getting filled up. Dompe comes in sometimes to talk when he is tired from trying to dig in the rock-hard soil. He used to be rather surly, but as the snow got colder, he got kinder. Not much left here if we can't be nice to our fellow refugees. So, alright, there's the couple's mask. Should, um... Some of you may be piecing together what happened here. And, uh, if you are, sorry. <laughs> if you're piecing it together, I'm really sorry. But it gets, it gets fucked up when I step out. When I finally take those few steps outside. Anything in that barrel before I head back down? No. Like, alright, so, save, and next time, we'll find out what happened here.